Oh yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't know what we were opening the door to. <laughs> we, let me see where to go here. You bet. All right. Well, welcome, welcome to Lone Wolf Ranch. <laughs> we obviously wanted to win, and we really thought we would win. I think uh, you know the fact that uh, Fred Thompson's being in the race took some votes that we would most likely had, and I believe every analyst has looked at it that way. The snow pretty much uh, not only froze the, the streets in the Greenville-Spartanburg area, but the votes kind of stopped once it started snowing, and that was an area where we had really looked forward to getting a, a heavy uh, and significant vote margin. But, you know, no excuses. We, uh, we did well. We wanted to win, but it doesn't uh, put us out of the game by any stretch of the imagination, and I think that's what we had to uh, remind our supporters last night. This is a long haul. Nobody has taken the whole thing yet. It's uh, it's wide open. How do you get that momentum back? Starting today. We reset the clock. Um, you know, I woke up this morning, I thought the momentum is back. I mean, it's really one of those things, you, you look at this as, uh, as I've often described, and now some of the other candidates are plagiarizing me and saying the same thing. It is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And everything I learned um, in marathoning, I've been able to apply to presidential politics, and it's really a very apt description. It's not just how you're doing at the beginning. It's not how even you're doing in the middle. It's whether you still have some kick left at the end. Do you consider Senator McCain now the front runner? No, I still consider myself the front runner. Uh, <laughs> just hadn't caught up with all the voters in these other states. <laughs> they're they're going to come around to that real soon. So. Governor, you're second in the delegate count, you're counting delegates now, and uh, do you look towards a you know, some sort of possible bargain in the future? Uh, you know, and that's a good point you've made. We are second in the delegate count, and people are recognizing that unlike other elections, which were sort of about this uh, contest of a contest, this is a contest about delegates. And even the contest of the delegates is one that isn't going to be over after Florida, or probably even after February 5th. So what has been perceived all along is that this thing would be over before we got to February 5th. It would definitely be over by then. And now I think everybody's sort of retooled and said, no, this could go on all the way to the convention. Very well could. Florida's a unique state because it's a winner-take-all state. Uh, obviously, Giuliani's put everything in Florida. I mean, the good thing for us is there's no state where we said it's this or nothing. Thompson said it was Iowa. Then he said it's South Carolina. And in both cases, you know, it hadn't happened for him. So I have to make the assumption based on what he said in his speech last night that we are you know, only a time frame away from when he uh, says it's, it's over. Uh, again, that's not my decision to make for him, but if he doesn't, then he's got to explain why he said it would be over if he didn't win Iowa and didn't win South Carolina, and clearly he didn't come close in either contest. Um, so. You know, we've never said, well, if we don't win New Hampshire, we're out. Or if we don't win Florida, we're out. We've said it from the very beginning, back when people were still laughing at us, we said then that we were in it for the long haul.